Hi, it's me, Dr. Prasad Patil. I'm continuing my classes on coordination chemistry, magnetic chemistry of coordination compounds. This is class number 11. Here I'm explaining about uh, diamagnetic corrections. Uh, not only uh, diamagnetic corrections, in previous class I explained about uh, Gauss and Faraday's method to measure the magnetic susceptibility, in which uh, the calibrand used uh, as I uh, was not explained in that uh, video presentation. So here I include that one as well as the temperature independent paramagnetism. So the calibrand used in uh, determination of uh, chi, that is uh, by using, uh, say, example, uh, Gauss method, the calibrands are the standard materials. There are materials which are having a constant value. Uh, it will not vary on change of small uh, temperature or any other effects. It, that the uh, value will be uh, will not be varying. That's why we call it as a standard material. So the calibrand used in the determination of uh, susceptibility. Uh, you can take pure water as an example. If its uh, paramagnetic susceptibility value at 20 degrees Celsius is negative 0 0.72 into 10 to the power minus 6 in TGS unit, but uh, temperature affects a small variation, uh, say a 10 degree variation of uh, uh, 10 degree Celsius variation of temperature will affect its uh, value. That's why it cannot be used as such. It is not used. The second example as a calibrand that is copper sulfate pentahydrate, its paramagnetic susceptibility value at 20 degrees Celsius is 5.92 10 to the power minus 6 in uh, uh, CGS uh, units. The problem with the copper sulfate is that its crystalline structure is not that much per, per, per perfect, so that the packing of uh, the material standard in uh, the tube will always create some voids and it will affect the value. Therefore, with the copper sulfate, though its availability is readily available material, but its values uh, found to be varying because of the uh, ineffectiveness in its packing. Uh, the third one that is triethyl diamine nickel, two thiosulfate, that is NiEN3, uh, S2O3, it is a, its paramagnetic susceptibility at 20 degrees Celsius is 11.07 in 10 to the power minus 6. Uh, this is one of the uh, secondary standards uh, as a calibrand uh, in uh, determining. But mercury tetra thiocyanato cobaltate, HgCO NCS potans, in which cobalt is in plus 2 oxidation state, its paramagnetic susceptibility value at 20 degrees Celsius is 16.44 into 10 to the power minus 6. So compared to tetraethyl diamine nickel thiosulfate, uh, this is a higher value, 16.44 uh, in 10 to the power minus 6. Other than that, it uh, can be used as the best solid calibrant because it is easily can be easily prepared in pure state. Uh, it packs well as well as it has got high volume susceptibility. So because of all these parameters, we can conclude that mercury tetrapanato uh, cobaltate is the at present, it is uh, one of the uh, best uh, calibrand used in uh, Mugai's method. Diamagnetic correction, while calculating the corrected molar mass uh, magnetic susceptibility, we discussed about the diamagnetic correction. So what is diamagnetic correction? It's the presence of some filled shells so when we write the electronic configuration, we will come to know that uh, there are so many uh, electrons which are paired, which are filled. And very few exceptional cases only, we are getting the unpaired electron. Therefore, most of the uh, um, substance, they are having uh, filled shells or paired electrons. So these paired electrons, actually, it opposes the magnetic moment that we know it's diamagnetism. So that we need to include in some, some certain cases or for say finite analysis of sample. These corrections need to be done, which we call as the diamagnetic correction. For, ex for example, if you take hydrogen, hydrogen, it has got only one electron and that one electron is unpaired. Therefore, you can say there are no paired electrons in hydrogen. Therefore, diamagnetic correction can be taken as zero. These uh, diamagnetic correction values, which was introduced or described first time by uh, Pascal in 1910. Therefore, uh, even we can call it as those diagnostic correction values that we took for the calculation, we call it as Pascal's constant also. So typically the paramagnetic value or paramagnetic susceptibility, susceptibility values are very high than that of diamagnetic susceptibility value or diagnostic correction value. Therefore, in most of the cases, the diagnostic correction is not considered for uh, its uh, application or say for calculating the magnetic moment. But for precise analysis, 
uh, to accurate analysis if it is required then we have to conclude we have to include the diamagnetic corrections and we call these values as pascal's constant uh, it also depends upon the number of electrons present in the group of or the group of atoms and also the conjugation effect or delocalization effect or pi deple delocalization also affects the diamagnetic correction so some of the values for um, uh, monoatomic cations or diatomic uh, uh, monovalent cations and di divalent cations as well as anions and for some ligands are listed here and in covalent bonds as well as with the different bond types a so double bond triple bond Oh, say double bond with oxygen triple bond with nitrogen all those variation those values are also listed over here next one that is temperature independent paramagnetism so by the word itself it is independent of temperature there is no effect of temperature on its uh, magnetic behavior but uh, certain other uh, values like uh, in the presence of the magnetic field there is no temperature effect but in presence of magnetic field for example if you take chromate ions here 2o4 2 minus uh, if you calculate the oxidation state of chromium here uh, so we calculate we consider the chromium oxidation state as x so for 2x plus minus 2 into 4 that is minus 2 is for oxygen and 4 times oxygen is there uh, therefore minus 2 into 4 that is minus 2 or we can say 2x equal to minus 2 plus x or x is equal to plus 6 that means here the chromium oxidation state is plus 6 and uh, the electronic configuration of chromium if you write uh, i'm expanding it usually you can write with argon 3d5 or 4x1 so i'll, I'll take it as a neon 3s2 3p6 3d5 4s1 because we need to calculate the oxidation uh, we need to write the oxidation state of uh, cr6 plus therefore it becomes ne 3s2 3p6 that means here there are no uh, unpaired electron all electrons are paired in s orbital 2 is there in c 6 is there that means there are no unpaired electron unpaired electron count or its number it, it, it can say it is zero uh, therefore uh, in case of chromate ion even though it's a unpaired electron there are no unpaired electrons zero but in presence of magnetic field some of the electrons in the ground state which are in paramagnetism it is not there because ground state there are no unpaired electrons it will jump the electrons will jump to higher energy levels in presence of magnetic field so when it jumps to higher energy level then we are, we are, will be having unpaired electrons therefore unpaired electrons and paired electron that even they exist the ground state and excited state even they exist as a mixed state that means in case of a chromate ion because of this uh, excitation of electrons in presence of magnetic field uh, we have uh, a um, a magnetic behavior magnetic behavior is introduced or we call it as a temperature independent paramagnetism so this temperature independent paramagnetism that we need to be that that correction need to be included in certain examples say example some of some other uh, examples are in case of a copper 2 with a mononuclear species tip or temperature independent paramagnetism value 16 to 10 power minus 6 in case of a nickel 2 mononuclear species it is 100 into 10 power minus 6 in case of octahedral uh, uh, hexamine cobalt with a ground state of 1 h1 uh, it value is 200 into 10 power minus 6 cubic centimeter per mole uh, hope uh, the explanation for the calibrants used the diamagnetic correction and uh, temperature independent paramagnetism it is clear to you thank you very much for watching my video and have a nice day